What a bloody spectacular day here in Kahuna, North Central Victoria, Australia. We're well and truly into autumn now. This morning it's pretty cold. Irrigation season is finished. There's no water running through those channels over there anymore, but there's certainly still some running through the weir here in Kahuna. We're here today to talk about long exposure photography, and long exposure photography is generally being the realm of the higher end enthusiast photographers, landscape photographers, and certainly the professional photographers. It's a way to capture movement in a photograph. So how do we do it? Well, with the higher end cameras, you put you know, neutral density filters onto your lenses, so it makes basically they're like sunglasses for your, uh, for your camera, for your lenses. But uh, can you do it with an iPhone? Absolutely you can. Today we're gonna to talk about two ways to do it. One is a paid app and one is for free. And the free one, well, it's already on your camera. On your phone, I'll show you how to use it. Let's get into it. G'day guys, I'm Shane Mostyn. This is a uh, three minute Thursday. It's three minute Thursday in name only. I couldn't even tell you the last time it was three minutes. Let's start the, no, don't worry about the clock. We're not gonna be three minutes. We're gonna be longer than that. If you like getting tutorials for your phone, tutorials for small sensor cameras to do some cool photography, subscribe to the channel. I release a new video every Monday and a three minute Thursday, three minute Thursday, every Thursday. So subscribe to the channel. Anyway, let's get into it. Where we are today is in Kahuna. Kahuna is my hometown. This is the Gunbower Creek. This joins onto the, to the Murray River as well. Um, and this is the best bit of fast moving water that I can show you and demonstrate long exposure photography on your phone. With long exposure photography, we want three things. We want something that's moving it's something that's stationary in some way not to move your camera. So your camera needs to be dead still because we're taking a longer photo. So as I said before, we're talking about two different ways to do it. First one we're going to use is a slow shutter app. And let's talk about the location first before we get into it. What we've got going on here is the water going through the weir. We've got the weir itself, which is dead still. The water is moving through it. And we've got this railing that's right here and it's going to hold our phone still. All right, so let's talk about this slow shutter app. We'll open it up here and we're going to go into the gear icon down the bottom and then go to motion blur because that's what we're capturing. We're capturing motion and we're going to blur it out. So we'll go to motion blur, go to the blur strength, leave it low. That'll work just fine. The shutter speed, we're going to go with whatever you feel comfortable with. Long enough that you're going to get some blur, but not so long that you can't hold it still for long enough. And the bottom one there, the ISO, leave it on automatic for this one. All right, so we're gonna set it up, touch the back of the screen there, then rest the phone on top of the railing here. If you don't have a railing, or you've not got something there to support yourself on, use a tripod. Set it up so that the, uh, the weir itself is on that third. For, for, the, for the sake of composition, hit the go button, the timer counts down, you're gonna go for four seconds here, and the photo's done. We'll hit save on that one, and that looks pretty good to me. And you can see on this photo here, the water itself is blurred, and all the weir is nice and solid, nice and still. We can go for longer, if you've got a tripod, you can certainly go for longer. The good thing about this app is that you don't need any filters and you can shoot up to 30 seconds long and the, and the phone will do a pretty good photo. All right, so that's the paid app. That's the slow shutter app. You've probably seen it before in the other ones that are, in, the other, uh, in the other videos that I've done with the star trails, the night photography and so forth, the light painting. But this is another really cool way that it's used. All right, let's talk about now the free one. So when it comes to long exposure photography with an iPhone, you can use the camera app to do this. So you go into the camera app and hit the live button up the top there. That's the one with the circle, uh, all the series of circles. You generally got a line through it. This is also the, the, uh, the way that you take a photo. You may have received a message from somebody else and it looks like a short clip of a video. That's a live photo. So what we're gonna use is live photo to take this. So turn the live on, set the camera up exactly the same way we just did it before and hit the button. The photo's taken, we're all done. Now, if you go into the gallery into your photo gallery and find the very last photo that you've taken, there's your live photo. And you can see what the live photo does just by pushing and holding on it. And that's done. So what we can do with this now, whilst we're in this view right here, swipe up on the phone and you have other options that are there. If you scroll this one all the way to the right hand side, it says long exposure. It's going to convert that photo now to a long exposure photo and we're done. That's it. It's as simple as that. All right guys, so this here will work with all sorts of things. This will work with waterfalls, with people in the streets, all those sorts of things. It's a really cool way to do things and show some uh, nice movement in your photos. All right, so that's it for today's tutorial. Long exposure photography, you've got a way that you can do it to get more movement through it. That's with the slow shutter app. And you've got a way that you can do it with a couple of seconds worth of video, with something that's moving nice and fast like this water here. And it's gonna work really well. All right, that's it for today, guys. 
I'll see you next week.